meeting to order at 7.01. <laughs> and Darius, I'll let you just All right. take over from here on this special meeting. All right, so <coughs> I sent you an email regarding this, so, but I'll try to explain it and I'm also explaining it for the, the camera. So the, the goal this evening was to vote the capital plan moving forward. Okay, it has been sent out to all the select boards of all four towns and the finance committee of all four towns and the town administrators. Um, however, when we, I went to bond council um, to discuss moving this forward, looking for the proper language, thank you, uh, Bob asked me to get the uh, vote, it is clear in the law that as soon as you vote this, the towns have 60 days in order to act on it and have a town meeting. So he said it is common practice that you will take the vote within 60 days of town meeting in order to not require the towns to have a special meeting for this capital, um, for the capital plan. So since we've already put out to all the towns, nobody, nobody's here, as we can see, um, to, to give us some last minute, last second public comment, they've already did it once before, but to come back again if there's any other on our final proposal moving forward, I didn't want to change tonight's meeting since you guys were already here anyways. So what we want, what I'm proposing the committee do is to vote that is our plan to move forward with this exact language at the April 4th and vote on it on April 4th. Our joint meeting again, we'll be doing the same thing again. But it is about, once you make this vote, again, it, it, it starts the clock. We don't want to start the clock in our towns um, before they're ready. But however, it's not legally binding, but it will allow the towns to prepare their warrants. They have legal counsel for all their warrants, going to want to read this language, um, know the numbers of our capital plan, that kind of thing. So they know this is what we are planning to do well in advance. Um, that's kind of my game. And I, I contacted each of the town administrators, um, explained that's what we're doing. They said we use holding holders, but this is new to me, but apparently they use holders um, and they don't have the exact um, language from a, uh, or a vote from a subcommittee or um, that kind of thing in the past. So this would just give them very clear this is what we're doing, and they know that we're just waiting on the vote until April 4th. So she didn't want to vote the first paragraph. Vote do you want to read the motion as it's been presented? Uh, sure. Okay, this is what Donna said. Uh, a vote to move forward on the capital plan as presented and to vote at the April 4th joint, 2019 Joint School Committee meeting to take on debt included in the plan to be in compliance. And then she lists the general and GL and then the two paragraphs that she sent the debt amount and then the, um, the district treasurer. Do the towns have? By law, have 60 days. The selectmen have 60 days to put it if they want to. They don't have to. Correct. So we're trying to get all all four towns to fall, all the town meetings to fall within 60 days, so we don't force them to have an extra meeting because we didn't count the days right. It's the selectmen's option whether they want to put it forward to a vote. They, they probably all will. But once we incur debt, that triggers 60 day, the 60 day calendars for them to start to make their move if they want to. Well, I'm is the point of reference, do you have the, the four town meeting dates? Yes, I do. Um, you got it? I'll, I just, just for the camera, the, the difference is, is commonly goes May 13th, is the last one, and Sunderland's May 26th, I mean, April 26th. Okay, it's April 26th, so there's a big, you see that? Yes, <laughs> you can add this back. All right, so, um, you know, in order, then also the town warrants are due by April 1st. And so by giving this information for, there are different dates for different towns, but that is the, um, the earliest one is April 1st. Um, and so this, by giving them this holding information, you know. So what are we gonna do it on our April meeting? Our so April I plan on putting it, we have an April 4th joint meeting. I think I wrote Tuesdays, really a Thursday. Um, and then we'll have this exact meeting following that joint meeting, which will be a much longer night, sorry, because there's some things we're going to have to do that meeting, um, to do this exact vote for real to start the clock for the towns. And then I have seven days to send the official documents to the town. They will already that have it. That would be the actual occurrence of the debt. That would be right, exactly. And so, uh, again, all that language drafted up by 
attorneys and such to make sure it's all um, proper. But this way they can they know what's coming and we're clearly communicating with them. And again, it's all about starting that clock. We could, if you don't want to do it as part of that joint meeting, you could do a special meeting to come do that vote. But I figure that's the group. The Trevor, do you have a question? I was just curious. Um, and I, I, I'm sorry, just the beginning part. Why, why was it April and not like March that you would vote on this? Because of Conway. Because of the, the Conway meeting is so far out. Oh, if we voted on it, their meeting would be on 60 days. Gotcha. If they wanted to okay. contest it, they'd have to call another right. meeting. So yep. we'll do that. 60 days comes to be about, um, I think it's March 13th or March 14th. Yeah. You probably want to give a day or two just in case, sure. for just to have a little wiggle room. So you're talking about you know, March um, 16th, 17th. That puts us after our frontier meeting date okay in march yeah um so we could either if you want you could oh, do I another see, meeting right. date or i was trying to run within the same calendar Makes sense. and yep. the idea is not to have another meeting date and plus we're gonna have budget hopefully yeah we got enough to do we'll get yeah. enough to do yeah we get some and um you were correct april 4th is on thursday uh, double check like the move the motion second so, um yeah, I'll second Question. that and I have a comment as well. Yep. So, I mean, just it, for, for people that are looking at home or writing an article about this, it might look like we're <laughs> talking pretty casually about borrowing $1,826,664 and not giving it much discussion. So I just wanted to point out that the subcommittee that came up with this proposal met 24 times um, the, that we've the, the subcommittee included a, a front, frontier uh, school committee member from each town, a select board member from each town. Um, this proposal has already, we've all, the subcommittee has already done the meet and greet with finance committees from each town, the capital planning committees from the towns. Um, so it, it has been discussed uh, considerably on many, many occasions. And uh, it, it's, a, it's a, a work in progress. This is over one year in the making. Um, and uh, that's how we got to where we're at. So I just wanted to make that clear to those that might not know. Cindy? Uh, can I make a suggestion that you write all that information down so that at the town meetings that might be um, able to be talked sure. about and be a little more proactive with people who aren't following the riveting meetings that we have? I, I, that's a good idea. I plan on putting together an informational piece we handed out town meeting to explain what we're borrowing, how we're borrowing, why we did it this way, and what's it for. But also it, the it, 24 meeting times and all that. Yep. Just, and it wasn't just that. And how we got there. Yeah, but this is really because it is a it is really a joint venture, mm -hmm. and and Joe's name needs to be brought to many of those. Whatever wherever we can, we put Joe's name and what he what he does and how he's helped us. And we should have a little support from the select. Because they've been I think I think we already have you know, support them. supporting us. So and I was also, you know, with that, if you if you did, you know, some social media stuff, not just at the meeting, like so you can get enough people to your town meetings to so they fully are aware they hashed it out on social media and whatever for the next couple months, and so they're all comfortable. Everybody knows yeah. what's going on. A great idea. Well. Well, and we, we had talked as a subcommittee about getting together to talk about the marketing of it. Yes. And so as we get a little bit closer, we will pull that meeting together. Those yep. who can make it can sure. come and give. It's a great idea. <clears throat> about that. Yes, sir. It, it would be nice, and you're absolutely right, Trevor, if no one coming through the door for town meeting goes, oh, geez, Frontier wants two million bucks. Mm -hmm. Everybody should know ahead of time, this is what we want, this is why we want it, this is how we got there. Yeah, so we don't have to go dance that entire dance on town meeting floor for yeah. those people who weren't paying attention. Right. Everybody, everybody should have opportunities from every which direction to understand what's going on before they come through the door. Yeah. When it gets voted on in town meeting, is it a separate, um, a separate vote or is it part of the school budget? It's, it's one article. Is it a four, four-town vote? It has to be unanimous. No, it's three-town vote. So it's a three-town unanimous. Uh, three, three out of four. Town, three out of four. There's actually. I knew um, I could say it somehow. <coughs> that that is something that actually it, it's uh, we've got some guidance that it's possibly a, a weighted majority of is what's necessary. So it could it could be 
Deerfield plus one town or the other three towns. So we need to work that Reason out. Reasonable agreement to sign yeah. that capital expenditures is where we're However, flying, it would still be great to have everybody yeah. support. We'd like, we'd like mm -hmm. everybody to be on board. Yeah. 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 yeah, that would solve the problem. We're all fighting games. We'd like to support the wall. Yes, we would. Anybody else have anything? Bob and Bob uh, and Bob, Bob, Bob and Phil. The Bob and Bill show. So if you want to add Phil's name here too, you can try, but any other discussion? All in favor? Thank you. That's the only one, right? Second. 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 Second.